our little black cats. Skulls. Spooky. And our little pumpkins. Look at that. Look at that. How cute is that? Did you know you have all these different kinds of peeps? No idea. Right on top. You want to actually make sure you cover all the peeps. You don't want to see any left. You need your fingers. That works just fine. Perfect. Add those all over just like that. Get some of our little Frankensteins and one of our little skull. That skull looks rough. I've got a few holes here <laughs> and in these holes I need you to get me some butter. That's what's going to go there. Butter. All right. right. Put butter in the hole. Got it. All right. Here we go. Butter right there. All right. Great. Now you've already sliced this up for me, right? All right. So we're going to take our slices of butter and we're just going to place them in all those empty spots. Really? Mm -hmm. Because this is a really simple recipe. You've got your marshmallows, you've got your Rice Krispies, and your butter. And there's one other fun thing that I'm going to add right now. Sprinkles. Ooh. I got some Halloween sprinkles. Everything's better with sprinkles. Yeah. Look at how cute this is going to be. Cover that. This one's so much fun for the kids especially. And these are just marshmallow peeps. Oh yeah, look at that. You've got all these fun different designs. Ghosts, Ghosts. pumpkins, this is seasonal. So you could use either one of the Rice Krispies, the regular or the frosted. I prefer the frosted just because it makes it that much sweeter and it's Halloween. So that's whenever you can give yourself an excuse, right? That's when yes. you eat all the sugar. I did spray the pan first. You definitely wanna spray the bottom of your glass dish because otherwise you're gonna have a sticky mess. And you might be wondering, why did we not make this on the stovetop? Because normally with Rice Krispie Treats, you would make them on the stovetop. This is better. Here's why. There's only one pan. There's no mess. That's a lot more messy. You just pop this in the oven, and then we're going to actually stir it up. You're going to see all these beautiful colors get mixed in. And I think it's about ready to go in the oven. You got everything you need. Butter, marshmallows, Rice Krispies, and sprinkles. Easy Halloween treat. Kids are going to love this one. You see that all the marshmallow peeps are puffed up? That is how you know it's ready. Now, it may look like they're still just in one form and they're not mixed up. You just give me one second because we're going to mix it up and it's going to happen right in front of your eyes. I'm you excited. get all these beautiful colors. You only need to bake this for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Got my lobster claws. Let's see if I can get this out. I'm always afraid I'm going to burn myself because my arms are so short. Whoa, okay. All right, let's see if we look at the bottom. What does it look like? Look at those colors, can yeah, you see? It looks good. Okay, this is gonna be great. All right, now this is fresh out of the oven. I'm gonna actually take my trusty tongs and we're just gonna start stirring this up. Now All you right. see, there was a lot of butter. There's a really thick cuts of butter. So that yep. was about, uh, what about a half a stick of butter? Use more if you'd like. All right, moment of truth, ready for this? You see it's bubbling up. We're just gonna, gonna mix it with my tongs and just twist it together so that it forms all those beautiful colors. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Bye-bye, little pumpkin. Yep, look at that. Oh my goodness. Be careful not to burn yourself on the pan, but then you just mix it up. It's a good technique you've got. Yeah, just twist it. So good. You can see that that butter is nice and melty now. And I just kind of guessed at the amount of ingredients for everything, and I like lots of marshmallows, so that's why we used so many. But you can even add more of the Rice Krispies, more of the butter, whatever your preference is. That is, that's the case with all of our recipes. You can customize it, you can add whatever ingredients you want. All right, I think this one's almost ready for a taste test. Let's see if this tastes just like regular Rice Krispie Treats. Mmm. Even sweeter than the regular Rice Krispie Treats with the peeps, but these are so good. You guys, make this with your kids. Customize it however you like. This is a yummy treat. Pop it in the fridge, and then they'll be nice and cool and make hard little squares for you. All right, what this batter is, is going to be a two-ingredient pumpkin bread using pure pumpkin and spice cake mix. That's it, you don't need any other ingredients. It looks like that after you've stirred it up. And what we're gonna do today is place that into our waffle iron. This is a, a spooky Halloween waffle yep. iron. Yep, this is a spider web. And we're gonna actually make our pumpkin bread in the waffle iron. Did you know you could do that? 
I had no idea. Did you know that you could make cakes in the waffle iron like that? You can. We'll see. We've got some white chocolate chips. Okay. What would you do with your pumpkin bread? What toppings or fillings would you use? Let me know in the comments. We are trying white chocolate chips right now. All right, um, this is gonna be interesting. Let's see. This is a little bit of an experiment. All right, and you just press it down. And when this is done baking, we're gonna pop it out, cover it with some caramel sauce, sugar-free, because this is like health food now, right? We got our uh, pumpkin and we got our sugar-free. This is health food. Awesome. All right, it's ready. Let's see if it looks like a spider web. <gasps> Ooh, it does. Oh, look at that. And the white chocolate looked like little flies that, that <laughs> caught in the spider web. <laughs> it does. Okay, let's see. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so look remember guys, this is just pumpkin puree and that. spice cake mix. And now we're gonna cover this with our caramel sauce. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. I can already tell. You guys, this is a winner. You, you gonna try it? Yeah, I'm gonna taste it. <laughs> you gonna get it on the floor? <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Everything is quickly falling apart. Here we go. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Is it good? It is so good, you gotta try this. You're gonna like it. Okay. Mm. 